the woman's point of view in telling a story about how a family gets caught up in the American justice system. Yeah, you know, it, it kind of terrified me. At the time that I wrote um, these things, it was after the speed, the energy of Moonlight had pretty much burned out. And so uh, the question for me was, you know, what's terrifying, what's scary, you know? I am not a gay man. Um, and so to step into a gay man's shoes for Moonlight was terrifying. And I'd never written anything from the female perspective. And so to tell a story uh, through the female gaze from a female perspective was equally terrifying. So. It was just at that moment about, well, what am I not doing? You know, I'm not doing these things that are outside myself. I'm not doing these things that I feel like maybe I'm incapable of doing. You know, I'm not taking that risk uh, with myself. And so uh, when I read the book, you know, the, the piece of baldness that I always wanted to attack, you know, from an undergrad, uh, an ignorant undergrad, not knowing how these things work, was Giovanni's um, which is a very unique perspective. Uh, but when I read this, there was just something I thought really, really kind and compassionate and earnest about the way Baldwin tried to um, enter the human psyche. Um, and then I read this, this story of Baldwin finishing the manuscript um, in France, in the south of France, and somehow Ms. Morrison, uh, Tony Morrison being there, and him sitting up one night and just reading the entire novel to her and just waiting, like just like this poem that can read for Tony Morrison to break him down. <laughs> but instead, she's like, you know what, not too bad, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> My hope is that we would make this film and someday some strong, black, literarily savvy woman would tell me not too bad, Mary. So if you see the film and you like it, please tell me not too bad. <laughs>